What's up guys, Josh here. Today I'm showing you how to do the scan effect, is what I'm going to call it, and this is what it looked like. Right there. Like that. And wow, 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 wow. Anyway, okay, let's get started. First of all, you want to make a new composition by dragging your clip into here. Then what we can do is is find the frame we want the twix to happen. I'm gonna have mine just back there, so if I just and drag on a bit of twixter. No, I normally use Twixter Pro, but I'm gonna use Twixter just because it's quicker. Well, at the moment it is. Anyway. So 100. And then go to next frame and set that to 1. Okay, and then, then we've got our Twixter. Okay, then what we're going to do is, is make a new adjustment layer by clicking right there. Clicking Control Alt Y or go into Layer New Adjustment Layer. Then you want to get your pen tool and make a rectangular re uh, oh, kind of wrong rectangular shape. Okay, and then we just make this. That's about right. Looks pretty decent. So I just make. Oh God, right there. Okay, just about that thick, sort of. You can make it a bit bigger if you want, it's all about preference. And you want to type in find edges, there it is. And drag it onto your adjustment layer. And then just leave that as it is there. You don't need to change that, you didn't do anything apart from that, into that. And then you want to type in CC toner. And drag that on. And set that black and your midtones to white so highlights black midtones white and then what you can do is is grab it bring it up to here click position keyframe it there go about I'm gonna go back to there mine's quite so mine's quite quick And then you can just put it diagonally across like that. Let me just check that works. Yeah, it works. I'm going to make mine a bit thicker because I think that's a bit thin at the moment. I don't know why that's happening. Hmm. Well, I think I know why. Scale. have it with that, just scale it up a bit to about 120, I'm going to do mine too, okay, make sure that works, maybe a bit more, 125, so set it back to 125, and that's what it looks like, that just scans across the screen like that, I'm doing on time, oh god, Anyway, then you can just add colour corrections and that. So you can just control out Y, put a colour correction on. This colour correction will be a meta impact. Okay, drag it on top. You can put your colour correction on top in some places. I like it in this one. And then you can make a new just make a new solid. Make it black. CC jaws. Zero, and then I like mine at about 87. That's a nice height. And then if you look at this, it just comes in. Like, oh, I'll run preview it. Back when this ran previewed. 
I'm back and it's pre um it's round previewed and it's what it looks like. You can speed it up or slow it down, it's up to you. Yeah, it's quite nice. Also music and that obviously it's gonna look better. But yeah. That's been the tutorial for today guys. If you want an edit impact, get me on this video, get me up to ten likes. And you can have the edit impact. Okay. Bye.